Good afternoon, everybody. I'm New Center Maine's meteorologist Mike Slifer. We saw quite a bit of rain yesterday. As I suspected, most of our reports over two inches uh, came from down east. Cutler, just under two and a half inches. Frenchboro, around two and a quarter inches. Roque Bluffs, about 2.1 inches. Same with Jonesport. Uh, so not a surprise to see a lot of these were in Hancock and Washington counties. Good news is today we don't need to worry about the rain and we've got a lot of heat on the way. Take a look at the forecast highs for Thursday, expecting temperatures to climb back up into the 80s for many of us. But I think that even today it's going to be pretty toasty out there for at least a little while. I'm expecting temperatures to climb later this afternoon. Many of us will end up topping out uh, in the low or mid 80s, about 81 in Portland today, 85 in Augusta, 85 in Bangor. Maybe a couple of spots that make it to 86 or 87 degrees if we can get enough sunshine through. Let's jump through the timing on what to expect for the remainder of the day. We're looking at uh, clouds have gone just about. Fog has lifted and burned off. We don't need to worry about that at all. Later this afternoon, there it is, a lot of sunshine. Really not much in the way for cloud cover at all. I do suspect that there could be a little bit of lingering ocean fog later. So some areas down east may actually end up fogging back over, and that's especially more likely tonight. Uh, temperatures tonight a bit milder thanks to increased cloud cover. Most of us stay in the 60s. Tomorrow we will watch temperatures climb a bit, and then we have this uh, threat for a couple of the storms to fire up along the mountains tomorrow. Not expecting any severe weather with that or anything like that. I actually think there's a better or a higher risk for storms on Sunday as a cold front starts to sag south. So notice this. We watch our front move in on Sunday. Along it, we could see a couple of showers and storms fire up. Again, good news here is not expecting severe weather, but it's certainly possible that we will be talking about uh, some heavy downpours maybe, even a couple of isolated high water issues. Wholesale pattern change on the way too. We just start pumping in warm air. Wind is going to be sustained out of the southwest starting Monday and lasting all the way into next week. And that's going to really allow those temperatures to just keep on climbing through the middle of the week with uh, really typical summer like weather expected. Marine forecast today sees about three to five feet southwest wind five to ten knots. Small craft advisory in effect until 11 o'clock. Isolated mountain shower possible tomorrow inland. Higher risk for storms on Sunday. Sun and clouds on Monday and partly sunny Tuesday. After that, we warm things back up. And as always, when we increase our heat and humidity, there could be a couple of pop-up showers or storms, mostly centered around Wednesday or Thursday. But right now, I just don't think that's going to be widespread. Similar idea at the coastline. A couple of degrees cooler Monday and Tuesday just due to some onshore flow. Especially down east, it could be cooler on Tuesday. Then after that, we should start to warm things back up statewide and across all of New Hampshire. So we're looking pretty good and much more summer-like. You can always get the latest by tuning into our newscast later this evening or by checking us out right here on uh, our app and on our website. Thanks again and hope you all have a great day.